Friday night, uh, February 25th, uh, I had just got done cooking and I decided I was going to sit down and watch the news. I sat down and all of a sudden, everything in my right eye went, went in all different colors and I couldn't see. The primary concern with sudden painless vision loss is central retinal artery occlusion, which is what the patient ended up having. A central retinal artery occlusion is indeed a stroke to the eye, and we consider the retina a part of the brain. My doctor insisted that I come to Advent Health Tampa for all of their technology, all of the doctors that were uh, specialists in the eye field, and what they could do for me. I was very fortunate that Dr. Pepe was the ED physician as he is specially trained in ultrasound. So the, these doctors have a little device, a retinal ultrasound, they put the probe on the eye, I can they, and they can look into the eye, and they can easily look for blood, as it can be seen easily, and make sure there is no presence of blood. And so he was able to exclude with a very high probability that there's no retinal hemorrhage. At that point, they found that the, my carotid artery was blocked with all of the testing they had done. It was 70% blocked. So in Alfred's case, the treatment was actually a two-step treatment. In the first step, we did the emergent acute treatment of his stroke by giving him the clot buster called TPA to dissolve that clot that has dislodged in his retinal artery. And uh, we were successful doing that. In the second step, we had to find where did that clot come from? And is there something we can do to prevent clots like this forming again? And with vessel imaging, we found that he had a stenosis and uh, atherosclerosis in his carotid artery. And we consulted our colleagues from vascular surgery and Dr. Armstrong saw him, and he did what is called a CEA, or carotid artery surgery, to remove the artery sclerosis and make that stenosis go away and open up the blood vessel so that he does not have a stroke like this in the future. I was never so happy in my life. I felt like I was in a Taj Mahal. They were treating me like a patron and not a patient. The care team was very well. I mean, they, they were very attentive. Uh, when I was in the ICU, they were there every hour or less to check on me to see if I needed anything um, all night long. Our goal was to do some traveling to go see the grandchildren. We've got a lot of ground to cover. I intend to do it. <laughs>